Hey guys, what's going on? Let's continue with this storyline of the dragon. Not dragonborn, sorry, of Dungard. So, I've just finished the last one on my first episode with the two different quests. And now I'm going to continue and it's bloodline. So I have to take um, Sarana to this castle up here. Or this fort or whatever you want to call it. So, I've got to do that now. So yeah, let's get going. So what you need to do is up here. So from I was here last. So I because I haven't discovered solitude, I had to go to White Run Stables and then went there and then I've gone up. So now here. We'll get going really. Alright, now that we're here. Um, just discover Castle Volticar, or whatever. So don't worry about these gargoyles, they're fine. <laughs> Wait for Sauron. I hate that. That's why I don't have followers, because... They don't... Hurry up. Hurry up. Hey, so... Okay, you have to talk to her, okay? What is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far, but after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. <coughs> Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Okay, so from that you could probably tell it's a vampire castle fort thing. Let's get indoors, or in a cave, anyway. So, yeah, just, you don't have to fight anything, it's okay. Lord Harkin's a great man. Best show him the proper respect. He's not a vampire, that's, that, that's weird. Oh. So just, just go inside. Okay. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it! My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she has I'm the scroll. delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words? <laughs> ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now, tell me. Who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Uh, I am Harkon, lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. And if I refuse Then you again? will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. 
Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! So, this is what you can be, guys, if you want to be a master vampire. This is the power that I offer. So now, this thing. make your choice. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish Okay, so this blurry is gonna be on you until you leave. So just just leave. Okay. Okay, so this blurry is gonna be on you until you leave. So just just leave. Okay. Okay, guys, so when you get back, you'll be in the pack. So just to kill these. Pretty much. I wanna throw them. some good news for me. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. Of course. Why okay. did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. A woman, for a woman trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? And so you delivered her to them. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? So they have everything they wanted, and we're left with nothing. Pretty much. By the divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. We have to. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Oh Got it into his <laughs> head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. This guy here, Isron, is going to be another main character and thing, but not as important as Sorana, as you probably have guessed. Um, he's also, I think, a well, master at least trainer you're smart in enough to want to learn more. So if you want that, there's that. And you can do some different options here. Um, they talk about the Dawn Garden. Watch your back. Now, um, you should be able to get a crossbow by talking to someone here in the morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here. I'm going to try and get this crossbow, and I'll tell you how I got it, and then we'll go on with the quest. Okay. Okay, guys. So um, you can't get crossbow yet. Don't worry about that. Anyway, um, 
you'll have two objectives to go to. You need to find Gunma and Sorin Gerard. Now these two characters can spawn anywhere in the map because I remember once I had her spawning up here or something and he was in here in the rift. So it's completely random spawning so you'll have to just just do it yourself really. But I think it's a similar objective every time. You there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victim. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires. That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Okay, so basically you need to kill a bear. So I'm gonna cut this because it's gonna add up to us too much time. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna do her. Now I did get this wrong with her. I think she's always here in Markov because I remember doing the same to Emmerun. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think this person's always here. So just you talk haven't about. seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't well, just look around, will you? Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Vampires? Really? Yep, vampires. Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? Um... I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend my... But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I'm sorry, but I'm not about to do that with oh. <laughs> at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you're this master speech, stuff. you should be able to do that, because I remember doing that before. So it's, it's for these, so simply come down here, and there should be a box. There it is. And just take one, okay? You don't need to clog up your infantry unless you want to keep one. That's all you need to do. Just one job. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Hmm. Believe me. Thank yep, you. Take that. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. <clears throat> now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Meeting at Fort Blumberg. Ah. Been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Okay, mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. So just, I'll meet you at Fort Dawnguard, guys. Alright, guys, so I'm just going to warn you now. When you come back to Fort Dawnguard, you're going to have a vampire blood thing. And you're going to have a really loud, weird thing going on. Um, I'm not sure why I'm all blue. If that, if that happens for you, then that's okay, but, um, it's probably because I've got, like, um, HD skin packs and HD, um, fur armors. As you can see, I've got uh, a few mods for extra, better resolution. That's why I've got fur on, if you didn't know. Um, so yeah, don't worry if that happens. You're not going to be a vampire. Um, you're going to get it cured. Unless you do want to be a vampire. Um, but you can't progress with the story if you're a vampire if you're in the Dawn Guard, okay? 
So if you look at your face, um, it'll probably look a bit different. You'll probably have some weird eyes going on if you don't have any like texture packs or anything. So just open the gate. And you'll notice each time you come back, the fort is getting a bit better each time, which is quite cool. So you can actually see that something good's going on. I hope the vampires try to attack us. A lot easier than hunting them down in their holes. <laughs> There's just an awkward dead vampire. I don't know why he's still alive, like, still there. There's another dead one here. So let's just go inside and see what's going on. Alright guys, so when you come back you'll notice a bit different. You'll see the two different people that you've recruited and you'll see his run at the top and the gates are all shut. Now, you might be all a bit right, mysterious Scott. about this. You've got us all here. Just listen. Now what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat. 